Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from Tyo's video, this is going to be a little daily vlog. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nicole. I am a stay-at-home mom to two babies under two years old. My daughter is 22 months old and my son is two months old. It is... 7.20, just got Lev back to sleep. Jude is actually awake, but I'm going to rotate your toys real quick. The focusing is terrible. I am going to rotate Jude's toys here real quick before getting her up. This is what, this is for Lev. Um, the under, underneath is black and white and he likes looking at it. Is that gonna stay? All right, I think we got it. This is what her toy shelf is looking like now. Her new thing is, peeling these off. We put these on when she was a little baby and knocking into everything, just to like keep it soft. And Lev will go through that phase too, so we're just gonna leave it like that. This is what the shelf is looking like now. I like to do like some kind of theme, usually when I rotate her toys. So I decided I'm going to do like a music theme and then like play pretend. And then I have this like matching game from Love Every that's from one of her new play kits. And I'm also gonna switch out her books. Her books I only switch out probably once a month or so versus her actual toys I try to switch out like every week or two. This is where I keep her downstairs books to switch out. But before switching out her books, I'm actually gonna switch out hers and Les affirmations. This company is called Liberated Young and it's like ABC affirmations, which are really cool. This I do switch out weekly. I always do the same letter for both of them just to keep it simple. Okay, let's come back over here. Get my slippers back on. I should be wearing actually my little foot boot, which I will explain later. All right, so let's switch her books, switch her toys. rotation music corner over here and then the theme I went with was like make play pretend so I have like a play blender um, a play little tea set Jude stood here and broke this I left this is just kind of random this like buckle toy this puzzle because she loves puzzles so I always try and leave one and then this is a completely new toy this comes with a little matching thing so we'll see how she does with that and then this is actually for Lev. You can put like little cards in there and then he has multiple cards here. And his play mat is over here. I guess I'll show you his stuff real quick. I will switch out these cards every so often. They have things on both sides and then I'll switch out his little dangly toys every so often. Usually, okay, this is a cat toy. Usually this bell stays. I'll switch out the ball and like this thing. Jude also loves to take that thing off. Jude obviously has some toys over here. She has her little pickler triangle with a slide and rock climbing on the other side. Her ball pit with also basketballs and stuffed animals inside. Her basketball hoop is over here, but when she wants to play with it, we'll pull it out. The recipe I use is a sourdough discard waffle mix. You prep part of the dough the night before and let it ferment. You want to help mama? And then you add the last few ingredients in the morning. Oh, thank you. You want mix mix? That's the right mix mix. All right, so now we're just going to <laughs> add a teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, I don't, I don't remember if I already said the recipe's from Little Spoon Farm. You want to dump? Dump. Good job, Kibo. Yeah, you did it. Dump. Good job, Kibo. You wanna dump again? Okay, dump. Good job. Okay, last one. We're all done after this one. Good job, Kibo. Now mix, mix. Oh, you want to do eggs? Okay, here. 
Remember, crack, crack. Watch mama. Crack, crack, crack. And we open. This one, or you want to try? You want to do it with me? Ready? And we open. Yay! <laughs> and mix, mix. Can I wipe your hands really quick? You can still mix, mix. I'm going to mix, mix with Jude Girl, and then I'll show you the waffles once they're done. While the waffles are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the sink, just get two things done at once. Corey is doing Jude's hair, so you're gonna hear her and the TV in the background. This is just baking soda mixed with a little bit of essential oil, and then I have this old sponge. First, I sprinkle the baking soda in the sink, let it sit for like five minutes or so, scrub it out, and the sink looks good, smells good, so the essential oil. Sparkly clean. Jude's waffles are ready. I just did half a waffle for her some blueberries some yogurt she will probably have more waffles but just starting with this everyone is <laughs> everyone's eating shiloh thinks there's food for her she doesn't like waffles my waffle is cooking i just wanted to finish cooking all of them before eating but before actually eating something i am going to do some chlorophyll drops and just chug the water real quick it's from Saqqara. They call it detox water. I'm not in love with that name, but it's just chlorophyll, which is good for your body. It's basically just like removing the chlorophyll from the plants. I put quite a lot because I'm just going to chug it anyway. And then I'm going to eat my waffle. It doesn't taste like anything if you put the appropriate amount of drops, but since I do a lot for like a small amount of water, so I just rather chug it. It does have a little bit of a strong taste. You could always add lemon to cut that taste. All right, see, this is mine. I'm gonna throw some blackberries on top and then do some maple syrup. I only had enough batter for like not a full one, so I might have one or two squares of the leftovers. And then the rest of this will just go in the freezer and Jude will have it for breakfast throughout the week. I am about to leave with Jude. Taking Lev's stuff out, his little pouch. So have Jude, make sure she's the diaper in here. Yep, only one, but that should be plenty. I probably shouldn't even have to change her diaper while we're gone. And Corey's actually going to take her out to the car for me because I'm about to... Here, take this, please. Mm -hmm. Sneak in to our bedroom. You haven't seen... Oh, actually, let me get my little fanny pack before I forget. What I was saying was you have not seen Lev yet in this vlog because he's been sleeping in our room. But I'm going to sneak in and get the milk that I pumped in the middle of the night in case he wakes up while I'm gone and actually get my LV to pop in the car on the way there. Success. We are switching to vlogging on my phone. As I was saying, Jude and I are on our way to my doctor's appointment. Long story short, on Saturday, I came home from Pilates, showered, was feeding Lev, got up because we all decided we were gonna go to the house and was just moving too quickly and stubbed my toe so hard on our coffee table. And immediately I was like, okay, something is off. And the reason I knew was because when I was 10, my best friend at the time actually pushed my sister down the stairs accidentally and she dislocated her toe and i just like remembered that vividly and when i felt my toe i was like it's it's not good so i actually went to urgent care because i didn't want to go to the emergency room because the emergency room really is always so long and they told me i had a subluxation is what it's called so like a partial dislocation not terrible and they gave me like a little mini boot thing and since then so today's tuesday so it's a labor day weekend so i couldn't get an appointment until today it's been all right i honestly don't notice it until i sit down and i'm like hmm, my toe hurts but like most of the time as you can probably imagine with two babies under two, I'm just so busy like doing a bunch of things that's really not top of mind. Going in, mostly, <laughs> you're talking, mostly I just don't wanna, I wanna make sure that like, it's not going to heal weird and then that I'm just gonna have like a strange deformity. Look at this car, I'm gonna show you. He's driving this on the road. 
I saw it in my rearview mirror as I was talking. We're on our way there to, uh, uh oh, to a podiatrist. I just want to make sure, because at Urgent Care, they didn't like snap it back into place. They just gave me that little boot. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that they don't have to like snap it back and that it's just not going to heal improperly. I don't know. Just want to double check. And I was able to get an early enough appointment. Hopefully Lev will sleep the whole time we're gone. But if not, I left Corey with a bottle and he luckily got some work done this morning and it's now starting work a little bit earlier. And so hopefully it won't be too disruptive. Once, if Lev is a fool, he's happy. If he's hungry, you know, have a happy boy. Okay, we open door. Here you go. Would you like to press elevator button? Thank you, Jude. Jude and I have been back home for about five minutes and I can't remember now if they said it was fractured or broken, but turns out my toe is either fractured or broken. I'll put the right term on the screen. And, oh, also, oh my goodness, what did I just say? Lev is awake. Say hi. Shockingly, he slept the whole time we were gone. Actually at 10, because I was at three hours, which normally I wouldn't let him sleep for three hours for a nap. Like usually I cut off at two hours, but one, because I was gone, and two, I think the reason he slept so long, he got up at 3.30 this morning, went back to sleep, and then woke up at 5.30, which is only two hours. Normally when he gets up around 3.30 or four, he sleeps until like seven or eight. You're having fun, boy. So I think he was just really tired from that anyway, and it was easier, wow. I was gone to let him sleep. About to feed him. I'm surprised he's actually not saying, feed me. Can I get my baby? Ooh, is he left? <laughs> I don't think I explained. Stubbed my toe very badly Saturday. I think I did say that in the car. Went to urgent care. They told me it was partially dislocated. Told me to follow up today. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna follow up. That's just like another thing to do. And I feel like a lot of times I'll just like power through. I don't know, I'm either like very particular about my health or I'm just like, I don't know, just power through. So I'm glad I went because the foot specialist came in. She's like, it's not dislocated. And I'm glad it's not because if it was and they didn't put it back into place, it would have been so swollen and so much harder to do today because of Saturday and today's Tuesday. She was like, it's broken. And so she put like this type of bandage on it um, to like attach to my other toe. She said it happens all the time. Luckily it's my pinky toe so I can just continue all my activities as normal. I have a fall up in six weeks and just to make sure it's healed. But yeah, I'm very glad I went. I decided to go since I'm doing my 30 days of wellness. I was like, okay, I need to take care of myself. So glad I went. Oh, and the doctor I saw, she actually has a boy and a girl and they're also 20 months apart. So that was fun. And she was like, yep, I just dropped my oldest at the at college so and i was like wow that's sad that's sad that that time will eventually come if they decide to go to college do you didn't bring my nursing pillow do i ever get what you're asking no all right i'm gonna feed this boy open thank you for asking nicely put left down at 11 15 it's now 11 37 I'm gonna wake him up at noon if he doesn't wake up himself. I feel like he's going to since he already had such a long nap. But he's definitely getting better at sleeping in the bassinet. I still like to let him sleep on me during Jude's nap. Oh, already waking up. All right, so I'm gonna put together Jude's lunch real quick. She's playing over here. She actually needs to go down a little bit early because she woke up like a little before seven today. Let's see, what should Miss Girl have for lunch? This is Jude's lunch. She has this pouch. These pouches are really nice because, especially if your child does not like a lot of veggies or fruits, the ingredients are super simple. It has a lot of superfoods, flax seeds, camu camu, and then it has a rice protein. So you're getting five grams of protein for the pouch, which is a fair amount, especially for like a little kid. Jude likes veggies and fruits, but if your kid's a little bit pickier, this is a really good option. Your lunch is ready when you're ready. It's 326. Big sis Jude is still sleeping, but Lev is awake. He usually wants to sleep longer than Jude, but I think because he took such a long morning nap, he didn't want to. He didn't sleep very long at all, right? 
So while he's here, he loves the camera. We're gonna do your affirmation, okay? Say R is for remember. I always remember that I am loved. I am enough, I am important. Yeah. And we'll do Big Sis Jude's after we get her. Let's go get Big Sis. Let's go get Big Sis. Oh, did I wake you up coming up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, baby. You wanna hang out with baby? You sleepy girl. Baby wants to say good morning. You were sleepy today? Sleepy? Baby said good morning, Vincent. Good morning, Vincent. Oh, he's talking to you. He's talking. You want him to sit with you? <laughs> yeah, he's sitting with you. Cute. Oh, girl. Be gentle, okay? Yeah, say gentle, big sis. Are you smiling? You love your big sis? like seasonal pumpkin drinks. Okay, can I actually have it over an oat milk latte but make that decaf? Exhausted, if I'm being honest, and well, I'm gonna shower, go to bed. I know I didn't share too much at nighttime, but I think I'm gonna do like a full nighttime routine video. And maybe I'll do a full like morning routine, like in depth video too. Because, like, when I do a full day vlog, I'm just showing bits and pieces. And today, since I had the appointment, it wasn't like my normal morning routine. Anyway, yeah, I want to go to bed. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting a peek into my day as a stay-at-home mom to 202. And I hope you enjoy hanging out with me. Bye.